Oh, there, my name is Colin Zanayo Abebrese, and you're welcome to His Golf TV. Now, uh, over the weekend, the um, Dutch king, uh, William Alexander, offered an official apology to all Africans uh, who were engaged, you know, who were enslaved uh, during the colonial era. And uh, the king uh, particularly offers an official apology uh, for his country's role in the slave trade. And if you look at the history, which I have on the page, if in case you may want to uh, watch the history of the slave trade, you can do that. I'll include the link in the description. You know, the Dutch played a very instrumental role in, in the transportation of uh, Africans uh, from West Africa to the New World. I mean, particularly in Brazil. So before we even react to the video, let's go in there and watch or, and listen to what the king has to say then if we have any uh, reactions then we do or react to the video van alle vormen van onvrijheid is slavernij wel het meest kwetsend het meest vernederend het meest mensonterend wij dragen de gruwelijkheid van het slavernijverleden met ons mee de gevolgen daarvan zijn vandaag nog steeds te voelen in racisme in onze samenleving op 19 december vorig jaar heeft de minister-president namens de Nederlandse regering excuses aangeboden voor het feit dat mensen in naam van de Nederlandse staat eeuwenlang tot handelswaar zijn gemaakt, zijn uitgebreid en mishandeld. Vandaag sta ik hier voor u. Als uw koning en als deel van de regering maak ik vandaag deze excuses zelf. Ze worden, mij, ze worden door mij met hart en ziel intens beleefd. So you heard the king and uh, his apology to the whole of Africa for the Dutch you know, role in the uh, slave trade. And there has been a lot of comments. People are saying all kinds of, you know, or reacting to it in different kind of way. Uh, there is this particular uh, comment I saw on TikTok. He says, uh, is from experience and he says you profited from it uh, of course I don't want to say I don't want to read the rest but you can you can see it there now he makes a very interesting thing he says how about special trade agreements uh, free visa for students as well as share in your GDP so for experience he believes that there is no uh, need for any apology uh, and that they have got benefited from the slip trade and so there is no need to apologize however i i i think i disagree with him i think uh if somebody offends you and comes back to apologize i think it is in the right direction that you forgive and accept uh, the person's apology but where i agree with experience is the fact that yes today there may not be no slaves you know people are not enslaved africans are not enslaved as it used to but there are of course certain economic um, restrictions and barriers which are even more than slave or I mean it's even more than Africans being enslaved and he or he talks about special trade agreements for whereby Africans are always disadvantaged uh, in terms of you know of course certain trade pacts you know issues with visas for students and a whole lot now he talks about GDP you know that a share in GDP which I think that you know after uh, the Dutch abolished um, slavery they gave the uh, free slaves, they gave them money, you know, you know, so I don't know who, you know, he is referring to that we should give a, a share of, of their GDP. I mean, who are you going to give this for money to? And a lot of um, scholars and people have talked about uh, reparation, whereby that Africans should be uh, for compensated for for what has happened to them but we also lose sight of the fact that these enslaved people themselves were given some sort of um, compensation after they were uh, given their freedom and so there are so many diverse you know um, um, views about the whole issue of slavery and uh, reparation i don't know your view on it uh, but to me 
Well, even if you want to reparate or you, I mean, you want to compensate the African people involved in there, which of course country are you going to give to? Who are you going to give the money to? And what is the money even of course being going to use for? You know, and 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 all kinds of all kinds of questions in there. So you can share your view also in the comment section for what you make about the apology as an African. Do you accept the apology? or you feel that um, it is one of the things that you always do because i know that a lot of um, african artifact artworks are in museums in europe and african leaders have been calling for a repatriation of these artworks but nothing has been done about it so i don't know of course what you make of the apology share your view in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe to our channel